It's time to turn your life-challenging moments into life-changing messages. Welcome to the Power Lift Stories Podcast, where we are interviewing women whose stories will leave you lifted up, fired up, and fueled up with hope, courage, and inspiration. We want to thank our sponsor, Powerful Journey, who helps women tell their stories, write their books, and building a profitable brand around both. Join the Masterclass or the Speakers Academy at phyllisjenkins.com. That is P-H-Y-L-L-I-S-J-E-N-K-I-N-S dot com. Now here's your host, Phyllis Jenkins. Welcome to the Powerful Journey podcast, formerly the Power Lift Stories podcast, where we are interviewing women who have turned their life challenges into life-changing messages, messages of hope, inspiration, and encouragement that will help you not only to survive, but help you to thrive. And we are super excited to have our newest published author, Miss Mary Singletary. Welcome, Mary. Thank you so much. It is an honor to be here. Oh, super excited to have you. And I am going to share Mary's uh, brief bio, hot off the press, and I am going to actually read it so I don't miss anything. Mary is an author, She is a speaker, she is a consultant, and she's a minister. She is also a retired educator and speech language pathologist. She was born and raised in Memphis, Tennessee, and she resides now in Ohio with her husband and her adult son. Mary enjoys sharing the word of God with others and encouraging believers in the faith She shares inspirational videos that give comfort and practical wisdom from God's word on her YouTube channel, which is Wisdom and Prayer. And that will be in our show notes later so that you can uh, go and subscribe to her YouTube channel. Mary, welcome. Thank you so much. It is so good to be here. Well, again, we're happy to have you. And let's just dive right into our interview. My first question for you is, what's the title of your book? And what's the why behind you writing your book? And yes, please show it. (laughs) Uh, The title of the book is 15 Minutes of Wisdom. Wisdom from the Book of Proverbs. It is a 31-day devotional from Proverbs. Um, A little bit about how I came to write this book. Uh, I have written in my professional area. I've written in speech language pathology, but I had not written um, an inspirational book, a Christian uh, type book, and I wanted to. I actually tried to write a book some years ago, and I I had a plan for how to do it. I was going to take a lot of those messages that I had used at different events, and I was going to put them together and make a book. You know, each message was going to be a chapter. So I thought that was a good plan, but I don't think the Lord thought that was a good plan. So that did not work out. Um, I wish I could tell you that I wrote this book because the Lord told me to write this book, but I can't tell you that because it wouldn't be true. I don't think he came down and said, I want you to write a book. But what I think happened is I think he finally released me to write a book. The hindrances that had been there before, he took them away. So I think he released me and he gave me the grace to write the book. I actually started on this book a couple of years ago uh, and I had written most of it uh, after a few months, but it just something was missing, if that makes sense. Something was missing. Uh, I wasn't satisfied. So I actually put the book down for several months, seven or eight months, could not even pick it up to work on it. 
when I would travel, I would actually put it in my suitcase to take with me and say, maybe I'll read it on the plane, but I never did. Uh, but as I was finishing up some other assignments in May, I knew that it was time to pick the book up again. And when I picked it up, I had the grace to finish it. And I wrote and I wrote, and it was different from the first version. The Lord had given me some additional insight. Uh, so I was able to finish it within a couple of months. Uh, Miss Phyllis was uh, gracious enough to put me together with an editor who helped tremendously in getting the book proofed and edited. Uh, and also the cover designer. And once I picked it back up in May, we were actually finished in a couple of months. I love that. And I I love the fact that you were led to when to uh, pick it up and continue to write. Mm -hmm. And it is, um, I, I read the draft and I can't wait to get my copy of the book itself, but I love the, the the nuggets of wisdom that you have placed within this book. Um, would you give a brief overview to our audience of your book, please? I would love to. Um, again, the title of the book is 15 Minutes of Wisdom, Wisdom from the Book of Proverbs. It's a devotional, and I called it 15 Minutes of Wisdom is because it's divided into 31 chapters. Uh, as you probably know, Proverbs has 31 chapters. And we do one proverb, one chapter of Proverbs each day. And what I have the reader do each day should take about 15 minutes, like a devotional. That's why it's called 15 Minutes of Wisdom. Um, the book itself is uh, again divided into 31 chapters and each chapter is designed the same first that whole book chapter of proverbs is presented first by verse after that i give my reflections i pull out a few nuggets from that chapter and i present them then I have a prayer that I've written out for the individual to read that prayer. And then I leave space at the end of each chapter for that person to write their takeaways, their reflections, what they got from that chapter. And for most chapters, you should be able to do that in about 15 minutes. It's a nice um, um, devotional um, it's not an exhaustive Bible study. You wouldn't expect that in 15 minutes. But if you'd like to do a daily devotional, this would fit in nicely for that. And I love the size of the book. It is absolutely beautiful. Hold it up and let's see the, the back cover as well, please, ma'am. Mm -hmm. There we are. And I, I love the color of the book. It's purple, your favorite color. You know what? <laughs> the way that worked out. We came down to blue and purple. Mm -hmm. And I had uh, my husband and my son and some other family members to vote. It was evenly split, <laughs> blue and purple. So what do you do when you have an even split like that? We ended up with purple. And a part of that was because the cover designer thought the purple would actually show better. And when I got it, I had to agree with her. It was a beautiful cover. It is indeed beautiful. And so what I'd like to do now is to set up our last question, Mary. You I just stood on stage. And as far as you could see, there are nothing but women. And as you have done your book talk, you've seen women leaning in You've seen women raising their hands, praising God. You've seen women wiping tears because what they heard touched their hearts and moved them in such a way. But now, Mary, your talk has ended. The women have stood to their feet. They gave you a standing ovation. And now they have turned to go to their vehicles and you are left ready to go to your vehicle, what are three takeaways that you hope 
every woman walked away with? That's an excellent uh, question. And I thought about this uh, when I saw that this would be one of the questions that you would have for this evening. I think the first thing that I would want women or anyone to take away from this study of the book of Proverbs, which as you know, is the book of wisdom. Mm -hmm. uh, first thing I would want them to know is that getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. That's directly from Proverbs 4, 7, the New Living um, Version. Getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. That's good. Um, we are told in chapter 8 that wisdom is worth more than rubies. It's worth more than jewels. It's worth more than gold. And nothing we desire can compare to getting wisdom. There are a lot of things I desire. I'm sure there are a lot of things you desire. But Proverbs says nothing we desire can compare to wisdom. Now, I know these women have already departed for their vehicles, but I would ask you here a question. And I pose this in my book. If you could ask God for any one thing and you knew without a doubt that he would answer that prayer just as you prayed, just as you requested, what would you ask him for? Did any of you say I'd ask for wisdom? Wisdom. Okay. I need it. <laughs> and I have to tell you, when I ask myself this question, I don't always come up with wisdom as the answer because there are so many other things I desire. But Proverbs tells us that nothing we desire can compare to wisdom. So that's the first thing. The second thing uh, I would say is that wisdom is for anyone who will seek it. Wisdom is not just for the well-educated. It's not just for uh, people from certain educational backgrounds. It's for anyone who will seek it. It's there. He wants us to have it, um, but he's not going to force it on us. He wants us to seek for it. So wisdom is available for anyone who will seek after it. So that's the second thing. And the third thing uh, actually comes from Proverbs 31, which, as you know, is um, the chapter that speaks about the Proverbs 31 woman. Mm -hmm. uh, I will tell you that over the years, I have read that Proverbs many, many times. And I have always prayed, Lord, help me to be a Proverbs 31 woman. I want to be a Proverbs 31 woman. But I was writing this book. I got a new insight into that. And the insight was, I don't have to be this woman. I don't need to be her. I just need to be the best me that I can be. That's with good. my gifts and with my talents, I'm different from her because she has her own set of gifts and talents. But given the gifts and the talents that the Lord has given me, I need to be the best me that I can be. And so that was a revelation for me because I always wanted to be that woman. I always wanted to be a Proverbs 31, but now I just want to be the best me that I can be. So those are the three things uh, that I would want people to take away. Spoken with much wisdom, may I say, and I believe that you, you just freed a lot of women by telling them that God showed you, you don't have to be Proverbs 31 woman, just be the best you that you can be. How great is that? Mary, um, let me just say to those of you who are watching or perhaps you're listening, when Mary asked the question and she said the women, we actually have a live audience here. It is our Writer's Journey community. So Mary has a, a group of women who are here cheering her on and listening to her today. 
these women also writing their books. So they will be sitting where Mary is uh, pretty soon themselves. Mary, I want to have you to share with our audience how they can get the book and then how can they co connect with you? Okay, thank you. The book is on Amazon. And if you just go to Amazon, you can either access it by type in my name into the search box, Mary Singletary, it will come up. You can also type the title of the book in 15 Minutes of Wisdom, Wisdom from the Book of Proverbs. Either of those will access the book from you. And again, it is on Amazon. I do have an email uh, where people can contact me. And that email is the wisdom book at yahoo.com the wisdom book at yahoo.com. And I'm more than happy to respond to any emails that you might send. Love that. That is a very memorable uh, email address. And all of Mary's information will be in the show notes here. It will we'll also have her takeaways in the show notes. Mary, again, I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming on today. And we know that this book is going to be a blessing uh, across the world for generations after generations. And let me just say to those of you that are watching us today, we are rearing up and preparing for the Powerful Journey Women's Conference. So save the date, April 20th, 2024, April 20th, 2024. And if you haven't signed up for my newsletters, go to phyllisjenkins.com and all of that will be in the show notes as well. phyllisjenkins.com, sign up for the newsletter so that you won't miss a thing. You'll get updates, weekly updates. You will get valuable content each week as well. And if you haven't subscribed to the podcast, what are you waiting for? Be sure to go and subscribe today to the podcast. It is on my YouTube channel, which is Phyllis Jenkins. So we look forward to seeing you there. And we look forward to you having you come back again so that you can see many more of our women who are telling their stories and writing their books. If you are interested in telling your story and writing your book, we have several ways for you to do that. You, meant, you heard me mention the Writer's Journey community. That's what we're in tonight. You can go to my website and you can register. We have a 14-day trial period for you to come in and see what it's about and if it's for you. And then we have our Authors Academy. We have um, closed the enrollment for that right now. It'll open up again in April, but we do have a waiting list, so feel free to let me know about that as well. So until next week, we look forward to seeing you and we just say to you, go tell your story because someone needs to hear it. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us today. If you are interested in being on the show, go to phyllisjenkins.com. You can also sign up for the Powerful Journey Masterclass or the Speakers Academy at phyllisjenkins.com.